All right, I just want the, there to be summer movies because it means it's summer, right. which means it's not going to be 40 degrees outside, which it is right now. Yeah, and even colder in and some cold, parts of the yeah, states. Exactly. And that's why there was a freeze warning. You know, I believe this is going to be the last freeze warning that we have in the extended forecast because we've got a nice little warming trend after today. In fact, overnight tonight, we're going to stay well above freezing uh, in the 40s overnight. So there are some improvements on the way, but just want everyone to be aware of this, especially from Terre Haute to Bloomington, Bedford, and then over from Richmond to Connorsville. We've got these freeze alerts that will be in effect through 10 o'clock this morning, mainly just because we are in the growing season. We are all accustomed to this at this point because the temperature has been so chilly the past several days. These freeze warnings are just going to continue to, get, to be issued as we get to, into the warmer seasons, and we still continue to see these very cold temperatures. So for the morning rush, still going to need the winter Winter weather gear, although we're not going to be dealing with the widespread snow like we had around yesterday morning. So going to be chilly. Temperatures dropping back to around 33 at 7 a.m. with a few lingering clouds as we've had during the overnight. So a cold start, and we're going to be looking at wind chill values in the 20s. So out of the bus stops this morning, dress the kids as if it is 23 degrees. Even through 8 a.m., we're looking at wind chill values in the 20s and only recovering back into the 40s later this afternoon. So we're not going to see a big time warming trend today. Still, those thicker jackets, the gloves, the scarves, hats, not a bad idea to get the day started. In fact, as we go through the next several hours, we're watching a little bit of moisture that we're tapping into from Lake Michigan, and that will bring a brief wintry mix across the northeastern uh, part of the state here from Muncie to Newcastle, perhaps up near Marion could see a little bit of that closer to about 11 o'clock this morning, and certainly more clouds in northeastern Indiana, but that's going to clear out a bit as we go through the afternoon. Not going to be a completely clear sky today, but we will certainly see more sunshine today as compared to what we had around yesterday and that will be the trend into the afternoon. Temperatures approaching 50 for a high today, certainly a little cooler where we have that thicker cloud deck from Kokomo to Richmond highs there in the upper 40s and will go for a high of around 52 down in Bloomington. Now into the evening tonight, once again the sky will cloud back up as our next weather system approaches, but the clouds this time going to work in our favor, so not quite as cool as we wake up tomorrow morning in the low 40s to get our Wednesday started and then slightly warmer tomorrow as we approach the 60 degree mark. And here's how this plays out. We could see a few stray showers during the overnight and then as we get into our Wednesday afternoon, a nice little bump up in temperatures, but the rain will become more widespread. This is at six o'clock, but keep in mind, it's going to be along a warm front. So this is kind of welcomed rain because of the warmer temps that will eventually come along with it. Scattered showers continue through the overnight, and that's going to put us into our Thursday. I do still anticipate perhaps a few lingering showers during the first part of the day on Thursday as this boundary stalls out, but then we're going to be on the warm side of this weather system. Once again, could prompt a few scattered showers and isolated storms as we get into our Friday, but this is going to bring a major major shift in our air mass from the Arctic to a more southerly wind flow, and that means much warmer as we head into the weekend. Looking ahead at Saturday, perhaps the warmest day that we've seen in over six months, forecasting a high of 82 to get the weekend underway. It's going to be a long road to get there, though, during the rest of the week. Each and every day, we're going to up up those temperatures, 82 on Saturday to get the weekend started, and it looks like a pretty stormy pattern as we get next week underway.